me a faith, my friend. A head that's filled with knowledge soon. Shut up! Oral, leave your little brother alone. Sorry, Mom. Fuck you. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. Think with your heart, cause you know that the Almighty sees us. Think only with your heart. Whoever heard of the bleeding brain of Jesus? Okay, that was the Crucifix with Think With Your Heart. And back at number one, the newest from Multiple Godgasm. Bow down! Bow down! Those darn teenagers and their devil rock. Do Jesus' pity! Ah, oh, nice. Burn in heaven! Burn. Yay! Church! Slow down, Oral. <laughs> Plenty of God for everyone, son. Dear friends, I look around at the congregation today. You know, the biggest... Just take a hike, you big, dumb... Holy Messiah. Didn't he just do this sermon eight years ago? Tell me about it. I can do this one in my sleep. Lazarus believed that life is precious. Ah, oh, man. I saw you talking during the sermon, Clay. Bored? Oh, just practicing my lip syncing, Reverend. All right. But don't take any rides from strange people. Because, because you're, you're in, in your, your good, good Sunday, Sunday suit. suit. Almost done there? Yep, just wrapping it up. Hmm, I'd give it one more shake. All right. Thanks, buddy. By the way, my name's... Later, Pally. You get her skirt, do we? I'll get her top. Hmm. Those are too revealing. She looks like a tramp. <clears throat> nope. And wash that smile off your face, young man. You're in trouble. I think you should meet me in my study. Gee, Dad, I was just trying to stop those dead people from spitting phlegm into God's face. That much I understand, Oral. But there are other ways of preserving God's gift of life. Well, for one, where in this book does it say the dead have to be naked? Their clothes didn't smell, Oral. Their bodies smelled. Their disgusting, exposed body. That's no excuse. Nudity is a horrible thing and should only be committed as a last resort. You know, the 11th command. Didn't you notice all the people running away in terror? Yeah. But I thought they were just scared of their brain getting eaten. Life isn't that simple. I'll show you. Help! My Uncle Dan is streaking! God rest his soul! Burn their privates off! Gosh, you sure are right, Dad. Well, I suppose that's why they call me Dad. And not Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fun's over. You know what you have to do. Kill the zombies? Haven't you learned anything? <laughs> I'm sorry I goofed up. I was just trying to be good, so you could love me more than you do now. Oh, Oral, I could never love you more. People only have a certain amount of love in them, and I'm afraid I have to divide mine up between at least a dozen people. Oh. But remember, son, I love you enough. I love you enough too, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I mean, yes? Dad, are you busy? A little. Come on in, Oral. What's up? Dad, how do you make babies? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. Hmm. How old are you now, Oral? Nine? Mm-hmm. Eleven. Hmm. Oh, well, this is interesting. Now that you're 11, you can know the real story. Babies are made by God's chef, visiting ladies at night while they're asleep and injecting them with the delicious glaze from his holy pastry bag. <laughs> Brilliant. It's all right here in black and white. Hundreds of married women are mysteriously finding themselves with child in the 18 to 2400 blocks of North Abstinent Way. Horrible. Newlyweds Ricky and Jenny Coldshoulder have no idea how the missus came to be blessed against her even shared the same bed in their entire... Do -do 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 I'll take him from here, Don. Well... To my study. That doesn't explain why you were out past curfew. 
But Dad, how else was I gonna be God's chef? Ladies needed to be asleep for me to shoot my yummy contents into them. You're not supposed to be God's chef, Oral. God's chef is only a whimsical fellow like Santa or Charles Darwin. Or is that what this is all about? I see. Well, Oral, I think I'm partially to blame for all of this. You see, by not trusting you enough to tell you the truth about procreation, I led you astray as to how God would want you to give women babies. What do you mean, Dad? Well, I mean, the good reverend was right. Spilling your seed wastefully is a sin, but it's also a sin to procreate in odd, exciting ways. Men and women have only one holy position, and that's called the missionary position. Yes, it's the most loving and satisfying position the Bible has to offer. It got its name from missionaries who taught backwards cultures how to have morally righteous sexual intercourse. I believe it was first developed by no important lost 12th commandment. Yeah, well, it is also a sin to use fun equipment. Oh. Anyway, in not telling you all the facts to begin with, it was my mistake this time, son, not yours. Oh. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Sal. What's the proof on this baby? <laughs> Figured. Oh, right. This too, Sal. Thanks, Dad. The Tooth Fairy. Money's very expensive these days. Oh, aren't you listening? I work a dead-end job to make that money. You've got to use all those bandages first. Right? I think you need a part-time job, young man. That way you'll understand that it's not only a sin to waste money, but also insane. Yes, Dad. You go? He'll take it. Great. You can start tomorrow after school. Thanks, Mr. Figarelli. Heh, <laughs> no problem, Oral. Now, let's go to church. <laughs> Brethren, get when a woman rejects me. No! <laughs> oh, no. This is a lesser, yet still potent fellow man. My, you're getting home late, Oral. How was your first day, working boy? Great, Dad. I made a lot of money. Goody, 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 goody. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Well, that's the best part. I gave it all to a homeless man. What? That was very sweet of you. Yeah, but did you have to give it all? Now you're poor. Actually, he gave me something for the money, so I kind of helped him out by letting him sell me some stuff. Oh. Well, I guess that's okay. As long as you can use whatever he gives you. Oh, I'm going to go use it right now. Good boy, son. Good boy. Doop, 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 doop. Hmm, what do you suppose he's going upstairs to use exactly? Mm hmm. Put your hands up. Earl, you know he didn't mean you. Now come over here, son. Oh, this is jive. Oral, I think we have a date. I don't understand, son. Why get mixed up with a fellow like that? Gee, Dad, I was only trying to be a good Christian and help the poor. The poor? Oral, that man was richer than me. He was? Mm-hmm. Selling crack is a lucrative business right now. People love it. That poor man is making a killing. He's lucky. But he looks so down and out. Ha! <laughs> More like up and in. Wow. Anyway, all this doesn't explain why you got wrapped up in all this awful business. That is right, son. I'm proud of you for that. But I don't know if you realize the true danger of crack. Crack is a gateway to slang. Slang? Yes. Remember, son, people know who you are by the words you use, not the things you do. Boy, just remember the lost 13th commandment. Now give me that crack. And half the profit I make from it will go into the donation tray that... How much did you pay for it? <laughs> That's my boy. Let's eat. Oral, that pig died for you to eat, not pet. Sorry, Mom. And I'm not going to throw away your breakfast again. It's a waste, and the good Lord hates waste. He does? Yes. Why do you think he won't even throw the devil away? Oh. Your mother's right, Oral. What's more, your track coach, Mr. Stop Frame, has just sent me a 12-page letter. What does it say? Oh, many, many things. But here on page 7, he mentions you. you. He says that you've been coming in with slower and slower times at practice. What else does he write about, Dad? Well, that's all as far as you're concerned. Don't you think that's enough? Gee, I didn't even know you've met Coach Stop Brain. I don't think I have. But your performance must have made a large enough impact on him so that he would mention it offhandedly in the middle of this beautifully written letter. Mm. Yeah, well, it's only track, not church. Only track? 
Young man, track is very important for your future. What happens when you grow up and need to sprint 30 meters to the unemployment? Your age seldom do. It's called stupidity, and it's a very natural thing. Anyway, I suggest you eat all of your breakfast and don't waste a bit. And remember the 14th commandment. Good. Now have fun on your scout trip. Thanks. Bye! No cereal this morning, Oral. We're out of milk. Oh, that's okay, Mom. Well, you certainly can't have cereal without milk. That milk's expired. Oral, I am your father. I demand to know what you put in your cereal. Golly, Pop. I never ask you personal questions. This isn't personal. I remember constantly telling my father what I put in my cereal. In fact, I was proud of it. What good deed? Oral, God and I don't have any secrets. Are you trying to drive us apart? Gosh, no. Then move aside. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Hmm. Yep. I've been around the block a few times. I know that taste. What is it, dear? Are you telling me that this is what you've been selling at school for a considerable profit? Well, it's all profit. Mister, we are going to have a little talk right after school. But right after school is our victory assembly. As captain, I have to make a speech. Oh, you'll make a speech all right, but not the one you expected. Stinking dead-end job. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, honey. Oral, it's time for you and I to have our little talk to the studies. Frankly, Oral, I'm disappointed. Not only in you, but in myself as well. When I found out that you were selling your urine at school, the urine that God gave you, the urine that flows endless from your bladder, I lowered my head in shame. Oh, Oral, you have a long time to decide what you do for a living. And remember, when you do start working, it's not going to be as easy as peeing in a Tupperware container. Working is a very hard, soul-numbing, and joyless experience, son. If I can make sure you're ready for the dead-end bleakness of adulthood, then I've done my job. Now, let's go eat, kid. Even as a single man, I can appreciate Me! it. I should be with her to show her what a real husband is like. Crazy amount of prayers out there. So I say unto you, husband. Son of a. Yeah. Hey, Dad. What's up, kiddo? Well, I suppose the best way to know what any woman needs is to read about what other men think women who have already been hurt and scarred. Men who don't want other men to go through the same traumas. There's a rich amount of information out there in magazines devoted to these things. Hi, Dad. Express bus, one way only, to my study. Pronto. Oral, I want you to stay away from that person. But, Dad, she has such a warm attitude. Warm attitude? You kids today and your slang. It's true. She's very pleasant. Son, she's only pleasant because she's different. Remember that. When you're normal like everyone else here in Moralton. Now, what possessed you to go in there in the first place? Well, I read in the magazine that a piercing on my Johnston would make my wife happy. You don't have a wife? I know, but you know me, Dad. Sometimes I just can't wait to start doing the right thing. I figured well, it's never too soon to do God's work. Oral, women don't need all these fancy bells and whistles to be happy. Yeah, I know that now. In fact, your mother doesn't care one lick about that part of our relationship. All a woman really needs to be happy is a few little hungry mouths to feed and some dirt to clean up. Yep, that's why they're smarter than us. They found out the simple way to be happy. Wow. Now let's go make your mom even happier and eat her food. Remember, Oral, foul smells attract Satan. And we certainly don't want him anywhere near our toothbrushes. Hi, Dad. Son, imagine my disappointment when I got a call from the hospital and found you weren't sick or injured. No, I'll explain. 
in my study. I'm surprised at you, Oral. You know that only God and the government can decide who lives and who dies. But God is in me, Dad. Well, sure, there's a little bit of God in all of us, just not enough to really do any good. Really? Mm-hmm. Besides, God obviously wanted that woman to stay alive or he would have finished her off himself without your help. But why would he want her to suffer, Dad? Oh, suffering is a big part of God's plan, so it could have been for a number of reasons. Maybe she was a loose woman, or maybe she didn't love Jesus the same way we do. Or, you see, it's not our place to be judge and jury. So in the future, Oral, good boy, son, good boy. Let's eat. When you take part in activities like egging or... Dad! Oral, what have you done? You killed him. What has gotten into you, young man? First you're rude to your mother and now... See you there! But Dad, I was going to repent. Repent? Oh, um, well, that's different. You should have told me that before I gave you the old... I know. I tried, but I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Oh, <laughs> sorry. This baby's a little loud. Tell you what, let me call Reverend Putty and set you two up with a little chat. He should be able to unravel. But oh, what she said when she fell on her head. She yelled out an ear-splitting, follow Jesus, have faith in the Lord. Praise his name and receive your reward. Reverend Goofy! <laughs> okay, that was the Stooge Mottas with solely hilarious hit from the Virgin Harry. <laughs> I was walking through the village just the other day when the jewel hall was church! Finally! Danielle? Clay, there he is. Oh. oh. It looks like everybody wants a piece of me lately. <laughs> oh. oh. God, right in your back pocket. Drink! No, Shapey, you're cut off. No! Hey, Reverend, wouldn't deviled egg make more sense than omelet for Judas? No. Here, Shapey, play with this in the grass. But don't spill it. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Puppington. Well, if it isn't Doey, Tommy in the gang. What's up? Ah, yes. Worry. <laughs> I remember that. Why? Well, it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it's hard to talk about. Well, why not do what I do when I have something that's difficult to talk about? So then we just came over here. <laughs> oh, they both ran away laughing. Okay, boys, all right. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks. I'll handle it. Oh, Doey, God wants us to beat you kids when you're bad. Yes, because. Oral, fun's over. Get in the Time to be loyal to your father. You're nice. Oral, I can't imagine that you didn't feel some guilt over what you were doing with Joe. It's hard to believe, son. Your friendship and loyalty to Joe led you to hurting other people. No, I'm talking about your three real friends, Doey and Tommy and the rest. You went out romping around and gallivanting with Joe, and you never asked those three longtime pals of yours to join in. Hmm, you really think that's what bothered me? Are you questioning me, young man? I think so. God doesn't want you to be loyal to one friend and disloyal to other friends at the same time, Oral. You know the lost 18th commandment. Friendship is a complicated headache but it's ultimately worth it. Son, kids you beat up will always come and go, but friends are forever. No problem. Now let's go drink dinner. Yeah. Oral, you know the rule. Don't upset your brother until daddy's had his first high. Is only seven. You should know, but young man, you need to behave more like an adult around here. That's no excuse. Why, your own personal hero, Jesus, was very mature at your age. Of course. At 12, he was already busy proving the Jews wrong. Excuse me, family. Daddy needs to powder his bladder. <laughs> well, you should be more careful, son.
I was, Dad, but I was distracted. By what? Jesus, eh? Yeah. I couldn't stop thinking about how mature he already was at 12. That's right, he was. How can I be like that, Dad? Well, you have a whole town full of role models. Why don't you observe the behavior of adults right here in Moralton? <laughs> I am still weaning him, Clay. Blaberta, he's seven. He should not be using your milk to wash down his meatloaf, which I pay for by working that stinking dead-end job. <laughs> I am so sick of your complaining. Why don't you just quit your job and quit being such a crybaby? <laughs> oh, thanks for the sympathy. You have never been on my side. <laughs> Why would I be on the side of a self-destructive alcoholic? I can't believe I give you the privilege of satisfying me every night. Son of a... Put a foot of ton of cannon! I'm a man. Have a good day at work, dear. Uh, have a good day yourself. Huh? <clears throat> I think you need to have a little talk with your son. Hmm. I don't know what's gotten into you lately, young man. My talks just don't seem to be helping. But, Dad, I thought I was doing what you wanted. Why on earth would I ever want you to take my precious alcoholic beverages? Because you wanted me to be more adult. Oral. Drinking on a daily basis is not the only way to be an adult. Oh, son. Behaving like a grown-up is many things. First and foremost, it means doing things that you hate doing. Dealing with people who make you unhappy. Being stressed about things you have no control over and working soul-numbing jobs. Then, gradually, as we endure these hardships and accept them as normal, that's when we've finally earned the right to get drunk and be emotionally distant from our families. I love you, Dad. I'm hungry, too. Let's go eat. If the Lord were alive today, what would you give him this Christmas? What do you give someone who has everything and more? He can help birds in hell. If the Lord were alive today, what would you give him this Christmas? Now back to the joyous sounds of Christmas. Oral, for goodness sake, do whatever he wants so he won't scream anymore. He's the Lord. We're here. My two friends been a good enough boy. Why, if Joseph refused... Mm -hmm. There we go. One last touch. Can I this year, Dad? Hmm. Well, I suppose you're old enough. Mmm. <laughs> it smells like a whole forest of lemons and hairspray. Mmm. <laughs> that it does. Okay, time for bed, boys. Santa's coming soon, and he knows kids who stay up late are jerks. No! Well, tend to your... Are you decent? Hold on. Okay. Well, that was a mortifying sermon today. Oh, come on. Can't we have one good night? Ridiculous. How would he even know? Don't be an idiot. Well, I had my reasons. I think it's kind of strange that I don't even remember conceiving this kid. All I do is try to forget. At least you know he's yours. Look, just get over it. I never asked for a second child and then boom, magically appeared. Explain that. Oh, he doesn't even look anything like me. <laughs> Who's been inside you? You are disgusting. I want a divorce. Fine, I'm gone. Live it up, baby! Oh, cheer up, Clay. You've got a great family. You're an incredibly attractive guy, and your wife is automatically sexy by association. And Oral is one of the best long-distance runners on my team. Who cares if your second kid was a mistake and won't let himself be weaned? At least he's cute. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. She'll never go through with the divorce. Thanks, Danielle. Sometimes I wish I could put your brain in my wife's head. 
<laughs> Merry Christmas, Clay. Merry Christmas. Give him a $20. All the way out here into China Food Town in order to have a man-to-man -man talk. Now, I know things have been a little rough over the past few months, what with your mother's unreasonable behavior and her coldness towards me. You and Shapey are still young, needy, impressionable children. So your mother and I have decided to stay together, if only for appearances. The last thing we want people to think is that we don't care about our own kids. That's one fact that is none of their business. Well, I think you can give me credit for this one. Oh, we should get going. Gosh, you're right. Mom and Shapey must be getting restless. Mine, 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 mine. Why is China Food Town so far on the outskirts of Moralton, Dad? It's only deliciously far. Foreignly, it's actually too close. Well, if you ask me, which you never do. That's right. But that doesn't mean you can't get a rush of fun fear by getting dangerously close now and then. Kind of like a roller coaster? Uh. Go! Oh, boy! <laughs> what does that phrase really mean? You're not figurellies! No prob. No prob. No prob. I mean, these are our kids. All our lives we've worked and slaved to keep them from humiliating us. And this is what we get? A bunch of... Figure lovers! Well, I call them Wiggerellies. Worthless Figurellies. This whole segregation thing has been an inconvenience from the start. In cat cleanliness, 58% increase in wondrously swelling. What is happening to our community? Ah, it's just propaganda. Everyone knows that the Jews for Jesus control the Moralton media. X, they'll want their own separate book burnings, like the books I've deemed bad aren't good enough for them. Someone should teach these figurellies a lesson. Big guy. No, I don't know, Danielle. I'm just so tense. Oh, come to Papa. Hush, little lammy bear. Close your furry lips. <clears throat> Where do these figures live? Town meeting at the church and bring your kid. Go. Or all? I was just trying to separate them from us, like God wants us to do. I know, Oral. Your intentions were righteous, but it just so happens that this time, righteous was wrong. You see, somehow you've turned things topsy-turvy, young man. You've made it inconvenient for the racists, not the racers. And at that point, why even discriminate? Yeah! yeah. So no more monkeying around with grown-up issues, you Oh, I mean... Uh, let's go eat. Who likes Italian? Oh, oh sure. I sure do. Good. Italians yeah. are great. Hey, Dad, wanna play kits with me? Has gravity gone away, Oral? No, sir. Then don't ask me to take the place of something that the good Lord has already provided for you. Okay. Dad! <laughs> hey, don't bother me, son! Heads up. You will avoid the blazing pit, for today's lesson is about something that I don't get to talk a lot about up here. Sure, it's easy to preach when you got fear and God's reliable, spine-chilling wrath on your side. Honey. Amen. You're welcome. Okay, kids, one at a time, plenty for everyone. Hmm. Son of a... Hmm? Hmm. Yellow! Hey, Dad. What's up, real son of mine? <laughs> Glad you asked, Oral. Love is a very beautiful, very intense feeling for a startlingly short period of time. Before long, you realize it just gets in the way of the real important things in life, like just going to sleep or being left alone. That's when love starts fading and lies kick in. Quicker than you think, kid. Quicker than you think. Do we? What are my sermons to you, Oral? Chinese ear food? Hungry all? You know the difference between right and wrong, young man. Then do the right thing. Good. Hand him over to Dr. Potter's wheel. He has a shot for him that will be virtually painless. Right, Doc? Well, I'm no vet, but then again, I'm only gonna kill him. All that love being spread everywhere, this dog is dangerous. Um, Mmm, <clears throat> something sounds delicious. <laughs> So, how's work, Clay? Oh, uh, you know, pays the bills. Mmm, I bet it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. 
believe you me. Keeps you occupied, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Keeps me busy as a little male beaver. <laughs> mm. Dolly, can we settle up? I should go. York! <sighs> My, you're working late. Stinking. Dead end job, mm hmm. Yes, well, the Lord's logic is very complex when it comes to hating nipples. Danielle! So, Reverend, can you give me a scoop on what the sermon's about today? Nothing and shelling out cash for expensive dinners and nagging. If it weren't for one thing. Ed. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oral, why are you sifting through the vacuum bag so early in the morning? Oh, is it that early? Yes, I haven't even finished my third drink yet. Well... And why do you have a strand of my hair in your hand? Um... Or, are you planning to buy me a new comb? <gasps> How'd you get? Well, it was either that or you're gonna put a satanic spell on me. <laughs> and that's just not in your character. So, where you been, Danielle? Oh, you know, being a monk, hiding out and whatnot. A monk, eh? You know what they do under those robes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. 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 That's a lot of money for such a small boy. Word. Oral, what is the meaning of this? Dad! How dare you spy on us like this? Maybe we better call it a day. Get the toys. We'll send for our detergents. Dad? Not a word out of you, young man, until we meet in my study. Oral, I'm not going to beat around the bush. This is going to be an awkward conversation. Yeah, I guess that. You see, son, a big part of marriage is trying really hard not to get sick of each other. When that inevitably fails, parents sometimes have to mix things up a little bit. That means swinging. Swinging? Yes! You see, I like to watch your mother be a housewife to another family. It excites me when I see her being distant with another man and his children. They call it voyeurism. Tired? Sad? Yeah. Oral. That's okay. Sadness is just nature's spankings. It means you learned your lesson twice as well. Oh, <laughs> but what did I learn? Why, it's elemental, my dear Oral. Mind your own little business. Stinking dead end job. Hello, sweetheart. There's my gal. <laughs> hey, Dad, can I talk to you? Sure, in my study. You don't seem at all nervous, young man. But I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I guess my belt can have the day off. Darn it. Dad, I'm a little worried about my new responsibility of taking care of Tommy. The halfwit, eh? Yeah, I'm confused. God made him, but I can't think of why he'd do a thing like that to Tommy. Can... can God make mistakes? Glad you asked, Oral. God makes two kinds of mistakes. The first kind is called a miracle. You know, bleeding statues, burning bushes, earthquakes, and hurricanes that destroy disgusting foreign culture. Then there are his not-so-good mistakes. The common cold, traffic jams, and the mentally retarded. They are called God's blunders. Well, when I say words like mistakes and blunders, you miss my sly little wink. That wink means we don't understand everything about God. All we do know is that when he goofs up like that, it's just an illustration of the spookiest commandment of all. That's what that means. You betcha. Those mistakes test our faith. Wow. Thanks, Dad. You helped a lot. <laughs> but how is that a commandment? Shh. 
I'm dead. Mm. God, I wonder where we are. The devil. Gambling? The devil. Devil. I win. Yay! <laughs> Dad? Where? I mean, here for you. Well, I'm sure finding it hard to avoid all of the devil's pleasure traps. Ah, uh, don't worry, son. When you get older and have a family, you'll find that leading a virtuous and pleasure-free life comes as easy as waking up in the morning. Clay, I'm setting your couch alarm so you're not late again for work tomorrow. Fine. Okay, it's a lot easier than waking up in the morning. Praise God! Praise God! Thank you, Lord, for this food. Amen. You've been having what? About who? Doing what? I think you know what this means, young man. Uh... Hmm. Just, just meet me in my study. Oral, this is very serious. Gee, Dad, I only wanted to cure myself of the devil's pleasures. Yes, but you crossed a very dangerous line when you stopped hating your pain. Not good, my little man. I mean, if you love pain, how the heck am I going to teach you anything? You see, without the use of this belt, parenting is just one big joke. I got nothing. It's time to start thinking. Think hard. If you lose the ability to feel fear and pain, you lose the ability to learn. Good boy, son. Good boy. But how do I stop enjoying other things so much? Oh, son, you're still young. You'll naturally grow out of seeing the bright side of things. Believe me, it'll happen soon enough, and let me tell you, <laughs> it's pretty great. Huh? Just kidding. <laughs> They're here! How do I look? Like you always do. Mm. Good evening! It certainly is. I'm Art Posebule. This is my wife, Poppet, our little boy, Block, and this. Welcome to Moralton. What a lovely home. May I see your detergents? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some wine. Let me put on some music. <laughs> Hi. And this. Hey. And this. Oh, no. My Uncle Willie. The guy was weird. <laughs> Let me tell you, he would do weird things. <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh, no. Say, she's kind of cute, huh? Yes, sir. And Christina is such a beautiful name. Of course it is. That's because of what it means. It means tiny little female Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you for new friendships. In this cold, cynical, free-thinking, lonely world you've made, it's so unexpected when new friendships are welcomed with open hearts. In your name we say thank you and repeat your prayer. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we, as we, to trespass. Dead or not, get out! Well, you think you know someone? I can't believe you would expose my children to this without my consent. Your children? What about my kid? He's only nine. Twelve. Please, just leave. Gladly. You don't even understand what the Lord's forgive your trespass. Get off my property! I feel sorry for them. Don't they want to go to heaven? People like them never do. Not now. Why do they have to leave, Dad? Because they don't believe in God the right way. We simply can't mix with their kind. It's dangerous. There's a wrong way to believe in God? Sure. You know the 21st commandment. But I like Christina. Well, why not try being afraid of her instead? Oh, gee. I don't understand. Okay. Now do you understand? I guess so. Get it right, right, right. Still hate her. Still hate her. Still hate her. Tolerator. Tolerator. 
Yeah. Hey, come on in, half pint. I feel guilty about something, Pop. Oral guilt is for Catholics, you know that. Well, that's normal. But thanks to Mr. Martin Luther, we Protestants have the freedom to learn about the cleansing act we like to call burying it. And the place to do that is church. Yeah, but I think I'd feel better just talking about it with you. Uh-uh, save it for the repressional. God gave them eyes, but they cannot see. <laughs> Come on, Shapey. <laughs> Hmm. What wrong are you? Toenail fungus. My family. That's all for tonight, folks. Try and live Gosh. through the night now. Oral, I thought you were going to pull some... I'd... Ah, glad you asked, son. When I do something that I'm not comfortable with, I trick or fool myself into thinking it's right. Hmm. Some people may call it that, but I just like to call it lying to yourself. Lying to yourself? You betcha. One of the best survival tactics I know, kid. Gee, thanks, Dad. Hey, the injury! It's looking better. What? Oh, it's just a stupid, normal wound. I guess the Jesus statue healed him. What, this thing? Are you kidding me? Son, only accidental holy images can heal people. Oh. An accidental holy image, of course. Dad, what are the chances of finding another? Hello. Look, Oral, a miracle. Those medicine bottles look just like Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great scene. And I agree with let's you Let's go, that... let's go. Show's over. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. You think she's your type, Reverend? Type? There's a saying in the God business. If they're praying out of fright, they're staying overnight. <laughs> And now is your day, dear. Pretty good day. Oh, Principal Fakey called. He says it's urgent. Yeah. Fakey, Poppington, what's up? It's about your eldest son. Eldest? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oldest. Remember we decided his righteousness could finally be an asset to this town? Yeah, the big money praying be. Well... Oral! What are you doing? Oh, hi, Dad. Pretty great, huh? I'm at one with God. Uh-uh. Not my son. Oral, are you crazy? You can't just use a godless religion to worship in our faith. A faith which is absolutely littered with God and Jesus. But Dad, it didn't feel bad. Well, it is. Buddhism is a communist cult that allows just about any random practice under the sun. Here in the land of the free, we are lucky enough to have restrictions. Those restrictions are called Dogma. Good word, huh? Kind of makes you want to throw it a bone, doesn't it? <laughs> well... Oral, throw dogma a bone. Pray correctly. I'm not taking questions right now, but my belt is... Never mind. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, magic. No bad, but then again, I'm only gonna kill him. You're not oh, it's no use. I've gotta relax. Self-destructive alcohol. Throw dogma a bone. 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 Oh, and the two of you spend Christmas together. 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 Let me out of here. I mean, come in. Yay, brave. Oh, look what you let in. Scat, shapey, shoot, shoot. Dad, that's not shit. What's up, son? Well, I know I'm not supposed to question authority. Then case closed. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, but what? Oh, oral. Authority figures never do anything wrong. That's what makes them who they are. You see, they have the authority to magically make wrong right. Conscience? Buddy, the conscience is the first thing an authority figure has authority over. Why, he can repress that bothersome little fella in no seconds flat. But how can he repress it? By realizing the age-old secret. Repression is the antidote to the apple. Sir, when Adam and Eve bit into the apple of knowledge, they realized... <laughs> Just look at Oral's shirt. It's the fourth time this week, Clay. It's worrisome. What? This is serious. All right. I'll take care of it. Hello, son. Oh, hi, Dad. Ow! Here, Shapey. Shiny. Go get him! Yummy! 
Dad, that's not shit. Oral, you know you shouldn't upset your mother by coming home with dirty clothes. Because then your mother talks to your father. And no one wants that. Ah, yes, turn the other cheek. The war cry of the Frady Cats. Oral, the phrase turn the other cheek has been misused ever since violence became out of style. Sure, that saying should only be used when someone insults you or jokes about your wife. Then you should just grin and bear it, even laugh if it's funny. But God doesn't want you hurt. He needs you to protect yourself so you can defend his righteousness. Wow. You see, you've got to protect yourself before trouble starts. Yep. I think you need to give this bully of yours the chance to turn his own cheek. Exactly. The Bible. Now, make a fist. Gee, Dad, I, I don't know. Come on, it's not that bad. Why, a fist is just one hand praying by itself. Oh, I... Yeah. Oh, who's scared? Horror! <laughs> Forget it. Save it. But aren't you going to teach me a lesson? No, I'm not. Oral. A father never gives up on his son, because then he's not really a father. And if I'm not a father, all I really am is a husband. And that's practically worthless. Also, you did follow my advice, kiddo. So punishing you would be an admission of wrongness on my part. And <laughs> believe you me, <laughs> that ain't going to happen. So why did we even come in here? Well, we had to cast what's called a smoke screen. A smoke screen? Yes, it's a valuable tool I use in order to give your mother the illusion that I'm actually doing my job as your father. Neat. You're the best, Dad. I love you. Oh, sure do. Well, <clears throat> we got about one more minute in here. Take it from here, folks. <clears throat> That's right, Oral. Geniuses. It's a clever combination of the words genius and genesis. Geniuses is the most simplistic way of disproving evolution while at the same time proving that through the miracle of God's pure brain power, he whipped up the universe in his heaven-shaped laboratory hundreds of hundreds of years ago. Wow. In fact, Geniuses is so simplistic that even the lowest form of life can understand it. Well, there seems to be no alternative. Let's force him into learning before he ruins everything. But how can we force him into learning, Principal Fakey? And fear! <laughs> All right, let's start with the basics. If you learn forever! <laughs> Fear of God in 2.3 seconds. This bozo's gonna be a Christian no time flat. And that's no threat. Oh boy, apparently there's a new craze called conservation. Huh? Mm. Leave it to the liberals. They take a perfectly fine word like conservative and rape us with- Um, Dad, it's eight o'clock. Oh boy, my new favorite show. <laughs> From a block of ice to God's ears, it's the Link McMissin' Show. Good afternoon, citizens of Moralton. <laughs> 
I am Link McMissing. Come now, there are fossils Fossils, that grow. fossils, you're like a broken record. <laughs> Any rational mind would not to grow dinosaurs. Well, interesting theory. Well, you might want to check out the... <laughs> no at all scientist. Boy, Link really ripped him a new brain hole, didn't he? Mm, yes. Link? Oral. He's a professional right-wing talk show host. That means he's God's mouthpiece. And everyone knows that it's uh, a sin to worry about God's mouthpiece. So, well, I think I'll go over to Forgetty's for a nightcap by. Uh With your boring miracles. This <laughs> rotten little thing. I said, Oh, God, go, God, go, God, go, God, go. The heathen's all in trouble when he revs his wrath. Oh. Sam Slay and Wrenches Machine. Oh. Oh. And have the cheese on three. Dad, isn't it a sin to park in the church's handicapped spot? Not if your foot's asleep. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Way ahead of you, Reverend. Way ahead of you. Dad, do you know any sinners? Hmm. Well, there is one guy who works with me at my dead-end job. How does he sin? Every now and then, he forgets to capitalize God's name in legal documents. Oh, oh, oh. not exactly a lost soul, though. Nope, not yet, pal. But until you're 18, your soul belongs to us. He's only seven, son. He doesn't... <laughs> Gee, Reverend Putty's right. Moralton just doesn't have any more souls to save. Yep, too bad the guy's not a preacher in Sinville. Damned souls there flow like refreshing, cool, running water. Hey, Clay, married... Well, I just can't imagine what's causing these horrible diseases. It's a real mystery. Say, I think I'll go and paint the lawn. <whistles> um, yes, this is Clay Pupping Smith. I'd like to inquire about saving two heathens at once, Quaker chicks, preferably. Dad? Hold on a minute. Oral? Hi, Dad. I might have known you were behind this somehow. You're in big trouble, mister. I'll see you in my study. In exactly one hour. Yes, sir. <clears throat> you still there? Uh, yeah. Better when you drink. Oh, Danielle. What? Oh, good. <gasps> but fear not! Oh. Hey, uh, <clears throat> my son. G -g -g uh, you don't have to hurry. G -g -g God never minds if we show up drunk and or late to church. Yes, Father. The wife stay so holy? Hi, it's your dad. I need to teach you what you did wrong by beating you in my study. G -g -g -g. Because that's what I do in the study to you. I beat you, and then I lecture you. And that's it. Nothing else. What? I have books in my study that explain some things about nakedness being bad. Now, now go to school, Oral. I'm tired of fathering for now. Hey, all right, everybody. Hey, Oral, you hooray for being dumb. Three cheers. Hip, hip. Who cares? They handcuffed me to a fat lady forever. You go to hell. If you put them in a woman with a pastry bag, you also go to hell. And then I'm going to take these pieces of paper and stick them at my nose and run around like a clown. Hi, Dad. Want to drink my pee? Ooh, that's what I do for a living. Stupidest thing ever. And my name is Oral. Uh, or Oral's dad. So there. Ooh, Mr. Figueroa. Hi, I'm Clay Puffington. And I'm drinking stupid juice. And boy, does it work. Right, Jesus? Yeah, I'm Jesus. And I agree you're stupid. This movie sure does stick. Oh, and there's a bunch of idiots with Oral's dad. And this. I hope that teaches you a lesson, young man. It sure does, Dad. I'm never gonna do that with those in there for that long ever again. Good boy, son. Good boy. <laughs> Is that it? Yep, you can go. Oh, you're not gonna lecture me some more? Nah, gonna relax for a while. Gee... Hmm. 
Hmm. Oral, how would you like to go on a father and son outing together? Father and son? And how? Good. It's about time I taught you how to hunt. Hunt? Yep. Man has been able to artificially replicate many things that God originally invented. But there's one thing we'll never be quite able to copy, even with all our scientific beakers and advanced laboratory rats. Laying God. God's greatest achievement. Yes, Oral, I think it's time for you to experience the wonder and majesty of shooting a gun. Nonsense! Next week is the beginning of the hunting season at the Moralton Nature Reserve. Buddy, we are gonna have a real endure you can. It's easy. As long as you got one of these babies. Wow! <laughs> I never noticed all this before. Yeah, they sort of blend into the woodwork. Follow me, kid. Oral, as everyone knows, nature is man's worst enemy. That's why we had to civilize ourselves and get as far away from her as possible. Unfortunately, animals are still at her vicious mercy. So, with one of these honeys, we're mercifully letting animals take what we like to call nature shortcut and kill them fast so they won't have to live in fear. Oh, <laughs> what have we here? It looks like a pistol. It's not just a pistol, my young man. It's a lucky pistol, and your birthright. Why, old Gunny here used to be my father's, and then mine. For years, it's been a grand Poppington tradition that the head of the household would hand off old Gunny to his firstborn son. Eh, here, why don't you try this one instead? I'm all back, Dad. Ah, no need, kiddo. I've got everything covered. All you have to bring is your trigger finger, and the trigger, and the gun. Oh, well, I just have this little sack. Little? <laughs> just how many dresses are you planning to wear out there? Huh? We're men, Oral, and men only bring what they need. Okay, don't need this, or this, or definitely this. But... Now, what's this? Oh, that's my favorite lucky shirt. Favorite? All right, just try to keep it out of the way. Hey, Dad. We return to another wonderfully inspirational repeat of the Link McMissin Show. Any rational mind would know that God planted dinosaur bones in the earth in order to grow dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that'll do it. Ah. Ah, this is the life, kid. Out in the fresh air, no one telling you what to do or how her day was? Away from the hustle and bustle of nagging? Yeah. <sighs> what? She's so cute. Okay, for the love of God, Earl, get that poor, wretched creature in your sights and put it out of its misery. Gosh, she looks pretty happy to me. Hap! Happy? Earl, that thing is eating grass. Everyone knows that grass is nature's carpeting. You're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to judge your neighbors by how neat it looks outside their homes. But it's so peaceful. Get out of the way! I win, and you lose. They just keep on coming. What are you doing? Why, I'm going to shoot that rabbit, of course. Dad, uh, that's not a rabbit. It's someone's hunting dog. Oral, hunting dogs are just <laughs> nature's rabbits. <laughs> hey! Hey! Echo. That's my dog. Uh, let's look for other rabbits this way really fast. Dad, I'm hungry. This is all we got, son. What I killed and you didn't. Do you really want some of what you didn't kill? 
I don't know if that's fair. But if you're really hungry, come on, come on. Oral, we're absolutely surrounded by food that walks right up to us begging to be eaten. Why would I lug around some lazy legless food? Good soy, bun. Good soy. Watch out, animals. Here we go. I thought so. Let me tell you something. Oral. Drunk. Is. Nature. You're not comfortable hunting with me? <laughs> I gotta tell you, Oral. Your cup is always half empty. Now look at me. You should be more like your old man and look on the blight side of life. I didn't say bright. I said blight. My life is sunny and blight. Bright means the opposite. It means sudden withering death. And that's... Nah. Oh, who am I kidding? My life is full of bright. Oh, God. I hate myself. WHY DO YOU QUIT WORKING ON ME?! She always fools me, Oral. I'll make things better, dear. Drink me. Put me inside you. I'm great. And she chokes me just like every other whore out there. Don't let them get you. All of them wanna get you. They just grab you and pull you into them. And you're forced to stay in and pull out and stay in and pull out. And then they got you and they grip you finally right where it counts. And then they start squeezing things out. Things that are like weights around your head with nowhere to go and no one to be. Would you like to go on a father and son outing together? I think it's time for you to experience the wonder and majesty of shooting a gun. With one of these, honeys, we're mercifully letting animals take what we like to call- Back, Dad! Now what's this? Oh, that's my favorite lucky shirt! Telling you what to do or how her day was- <laughs> Everyone knows that grass is nature's carpeting. Yes! Hunting dogs are just nature's rabbits. I'm not. I think you might. Is something oral? Drunk is nature. I hate myself. Why do you quit working on me? She always fools me, Oral. I'll make things better, dear. Drink me. Put me inside you. I'm great. And she chokes me just like every other whore out there. Get ya. All of them wanna get ya. They just grab you and pull you into them. And you're forced to stay in and pull out and stay in and pull out. And then they got ya. And they grip you finally right where it counts. And then they start squeezing things out. Things that are like weights around your head with nowhere to go and no one to be. <laughs> Am I okay? <laughs> you shoot one thing this whole trip? Count them, one thing. And it's two of my last bottles of liquor. There are no accidents. <laughs> You've done nothing but whine like a lady in a flowery sissy skirt and attractive high heels about my drinking since we got here. Oh, oh, I do, do I? Well, we'll see about that. Ah. <laughs> Dad! Get away from oh. me! Oh! Get myself!
Okay. It's time you became a man. Where's my raffle? Uh, uh, I don't think... There it is. I know exactly what... No mistakes, no accidents. Dad. What have you done? You sure did. You've got to learn to be more careful, son. Uh, it hurts, Dad. Well, it's supposed to. Pain is nature's spankings. We're going to need some cloth for a tourniquet. Hmm. Uh... uh, I think a shirt would work. Atta boy. My lucky shirt. Well, maybe it'll finally start kicking in. <laughs> I guess my lucky gun trumped your lucky shirt, Kidarino. Dad, I have some disinfectant in my first aid bag. First aid? I thought I told you not to bring that. <laughs> Hello. Okay, this might sting a little. Whoops. Hate away, sister. Hate away. As I am, I guess I am. Shut up! Oh, oh. On the sun. On the sun. Turn off that light, son. Huh? Oh, son. Hey, buddy. Do me a favor. Take your sleeping bag and wrap it around my eyes, will ya? Yeah. You're a good. Morning! <laughs> Miss the Roosters, eh? High time for some breakfast. Why? What happened? You shot me in the leg. No, I didn't. Look. Oh, I don't remember that. So that means it's not my fault. Well, we should get you... <gasps> Oral! He's dead. Shot? Yeah. Oh, Oral. Make me happy. Make me proud of you, son, and tell me that you shot that bear yourself. Huh. I did? Hmm. Okay, let's pack up and get you to Dr. Potter's wheel. And I hope the junkyard a few blocks from here Someday burns down And I hope the rising black smoke carries me far away And I never come back to this town again In my life I hope I lie And tell him Okay don't need this, or this, or definitely this. I hope I cut myself shaving tomorrow. I hope it bleeds all day long. Our friends say it's darkest before the sun rises. We're pretty sure they're all wrong. Yummy. I hope it stays dark forever. I hope the Ooh, worst isn't bad. over. And I hope you blink before I die. Yay, birdie. And I hope I never get sober. And I hope when you think of me years down the line, you can't find one good thing to say. And I'd hope that if I found the strength to walk out, you'd stay the hell out Why of my way. Why did you marry Dad? Oh, well. <laughs> Why not? Well, it's just that when he drinks, he changes. Oh, he doesn't change, Oral. That's just his true nature coming out. <laughs> I am drowning. There is no sign of land. You are coming down with me. Hand in unlovable hand, and I hope you die. I hope we 
What's so afternoon about it? Well, it's 4.30 p.m. What kind of an example is that for your son? Don't worry about Oral. He's fine. Ship off the old block. My own flesh and... Oh, it's not great. For the millionth time, whatever I said, I didn't mean this. I'll see you in my study. Hmm. Ouch! Oh, sorry, kid. Um, pull your pants up. What's the matter, Pops? Aren't you gonna spank me? Buddy, I'm gonna have to administer an even harsher punishment this time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh's right. Son, I'm going to ground you for one entire month. Play? Oh, you can play. Go out and play to your little heart's content. Run around, laugh, jump, roughhouse with the whole gang. So... Sure. Dad! That's my name, don't wear it out. But you, you can't! I can and am. Dad, please, you have to reconsider. I'll stop trying to do anything right from now on. I'll just be a normal kid, I promise! You can go now. <laughs> Checkmate. Betty? You, Betty Bet Bet, and away we go! Ooh, I feel extra righteous today. And you look beautiful, honey. Why, thank you. Don't mention it. What are you dressed up for? Got a big date or something? I thought maybe you'd have a change of heart. Change of heart? Oral, change is only for hippies and underwear. Well, I guess I can just... Hmm. Uh, nothing like the feeling of buying extra soul insurance. That's right, kiddo. Going to church gives us that special little kick when it comes to being saved. Can't get on God's good side without church. Oh. All right, almost everybody, let's go. But I need to stay on God's good side. All us well-behaved little boys like me and Shapey and your mom have to get up early for church tomorrow. Say, what you're making? Oh, buddy. Uh-uh-uh, no cheating. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you're really learning something this time. You Betty Church Church, and a church we church! Ooh, I feel extra churchy today. And church Church Churchable Churchy. Church Church Church. Yay! Church! church. Hey! Hey! Oh. hey. 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 Oh. hey. It's a miracle! A miracle? So it's free? Well, gauze is expensive. Knew it. Hi, Oral! How's it going? Church! What? I have to go to the church! God misses me! Sorry, no church for two more weeks, pal. You don't understand. God wants me to visit. He killed me because he misses me. Well, you should have thought of that before you messed up the upstairs bathroom. I've got it! Fight fire with fire! All these near-death experiences are getting a little tiresome. And expensive. Now, I don't want to have to sign another one of your death certificates. You get me? Atta boy. <laughs> It's not healthy to be dead that long. Well, at least his eyes are alive. Oral! You scared us, son. Oral, did you see God? What did you learn? Uh, it's still a little fuzzy, though. Uh, but I think I can remember uh, if I really yeah, try... Yeah, of course it's fuzzy. That's because what Oral saw was fuzzy clouds and fuzzy angels and... And isn't that right, son? Um, I don't think so. Well, then let me help you remember in my study. Come on, gulp for me, son. Hatta <laughs> boy! Uh oh! I hope that teaches you a lesson, young man. It sure does, Dad. I'm never gonna for that long ever again! Good boy, son. Good boy.
But come on, all that stuff happened before that sprint. Is that what you want? Holy potatoes! Um, you and everybody? Oh, okay. Well, see you next Sunday. You're going nowhere, right? Amen. Ma Wait a minute. You're asking me to take responsibility for what Oral does? 90% of the time, I'm not even responsible for my own action. What if you quit drinking? Yeah, what if? Don't know what we're talking about. So you're saying we just need to avoid or Him you can't avoid. That little shagats is a faklumped question machine. I'm his father. A boy need. <sighs> Sounds like we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. <laughs> amends with God about that song? Dad? Huh. Still warm. Hmm. I wonder who I should talk to now. Party. We good? Oh, howdy, coach. Be right with you. Get rid of the kid? Mm -hmm. Now, let's celebrate. Take off your shoe and we'll toast with champagne. But how was he? What'd he say? Is everything all right? Oh, God. Oh, Relax. God, oh, God. I just wanted to make sure I'm getting this right. You listen to your elder, please? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're doing everything right. Okay, that's that. We better get started. This may take a while. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah, what's so afternoon about it? Well, it's 4.30 p.m. What kind of an example is that for your son? Don't worry about Oral. He's fine. Ship off the old block. My own flesh and... <laughs> Come on, Oral. Concentrate. I'm trying, Pop. Son, you know trying's not enough. You have to just be good. Oh, yeah. Hi, Oral. What you doing? Hi, Dewey. I'm learning how to shoot a gun. My dad's taking me on a father and son hunting trip next week. That's nice. Me and my dad do it all the time, too. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, me neither. You're not going on any hunting trip, young man, unless you learn how to shoot a gun without trembling like a lady leaf. Okay. Oh. Oral, I want you to shoot that lamb right between its lemon-fresh eyes. <sighs> I just can't do it. Son, it takes a special kind of person to find the man within himself and shoot bullets into the lungs. Wow! Hey, now that's what I call killing. Good boy, Doey. How'd you do that, Doey? I don't know. Uh, Doey's got the right idea. Gee. Oral, you've got one week to get over your jitters and become a decent shot. Until you do, I want to see this gun in your hand 24 hours a day. It has to feel like it's part of your body, the way a tumbler of whiskey feels in my desperate grip. Yes, sir. Make me proud, son. Okay, Dad. Maybe old Dead-Eye Doey here could give you some pointers. Sure. Good. I'll expect a full report in a couple of days, Deputy. Okay, Sheriff. Deputy? Sheriff. <laughs> Deputy? <laughs> Sheriff. <laughs> Sheriff. <laughs> Oral. Oral, if this keeps up, I'm going to end up taking Deputy Doey on the trip instead of you. Oh. Oral, look at this bill. I already did. Can you leave Doey and me alone, please? Yes, sir. Doey, this hunting trip isn't looking very good right now. He's gonna have to have quite a breakthrough. I can't see it happening, Clay. That boy's a piece of work. He's got a real itchy trigger finger. I see. Hmm. You know, Doey, Oral's going to need all the positive influence he can get. Dinner. Oral, pull up a footstool. You don't mind if our guest, Doey, takes your seat? Uh, no doubt. Would you like to say great man to that? Well, you're like a second son to me. Yay, birdie! Oral! Ever so slightly. Breathe in that non judgmental, 
uncommitted, smoky freedom. Like you're finally getting the hang of this. Yeah, looks like. Hey, here you go, Dad. You better hang on to this until the hunting trip. No, I think it belongs in the hands of a marksman. I'm gonna go get you an actual dead animal head that you can shoot at. Nothing like aiming at the real thing, buddy. Oh. Sheriff, you want me to stay here and make sure Oral doesn't goof anything up? Or maybe you can take me on the hunting trip with you, Sheriff? Ho, <laughs> Dewey. That was just a ploy to get Oral to shoot better. Why, you could be Lee Harvey Oswald, and I still wouldn't bring you on that trip with me. Oh. oh. Right here. I'll be out in an hour or three. A bear shot oral. A land to stand on. From the aspirins to the cross tops to the. Down to the end. So, friend of the bride or the groom? Huh? Oh, uh, neither. I mean, I was, I'm sure they're nice. I was just. I thought it was a regular service and I got trapped in there before it got all weird and joyous. Yes, it was joyous. Yeah, that was the big tip-off. Are you going to the reception? Oh, no, 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 I couldn't. I don't know anyone. I'm Blaberta. Blaberta Hymantact. I'm Clay. Puppington. Okay. Berta! Welcome to my wedding reception. Order the what a whore serves! Order the what a whore serves! Oh, right. Two apple juices? Oh, yes. Uh, sounds yummy. Two. So, tell me about your family. Don't have one. Only child. My parents are dead. All of them? Well, <laughs> there were only two. I, uh, I see. Yeah, it wasn't like it was a bloodbath or anything. You don't drink? Drinks? Oh, no. Isn't drinking a sin? Jesus drank. Oh, true. A lot. Hmm. I think it helps us to be better people. My father drinks. Uh, well, if Jesus drank... Two eyeballs! <laughs> okay. Can I take away some of these empties? No. I want them here, near me. Forever. They're mine. Yeah, no prob. No prob. That dummy had no idea until I told him the score. Uh, <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, Miss Hyman Tact, you have really helped me get out of my sh I said I gotta tell out of my shell. You have re <laughs> yeah, okay. Might as well use these new superpowers while I got them. You're a wonderful dancer. So I am. You'll be very impressive dancing with the bride at your own wedding. I'm not going to have a bride at my own wedding. Oh? Yeah, marriage. Not for me. Well, pray tell, what is for you? Oh, you know, sitting at home, alone, reading the Bible, heaven, you know, things that last. Well... I think maybe now that you've been helped out of your shell, that uh, maybe it's possible that you would change your tune about marriage. Yeah, could be. Whoopsie. <laughs> ah, thank you. I think you forgot yours. A you. All the way down. Need a drink, ma'am? I don't drink. With me. Let me do that. Filth. From the housetops to the gutters. Mm. Filth. From the ocean to the shore. Warning signs. Oh, what? What? What happened? Mm. You fell. I did. What? How long ago? Hours and hours. The reception's long over. Sun's coming up. Oh, you're so good to me. Yes. I don't know how to thank you and or apologize. Um, you could marry me. Marry? Yes. It seems all I've been doing since I met you is help and help and help and help and help and help and help you. Well, that is a lot of help. 
Oh, what's wrong, Sourpuss? Uh, nothing. I just... It's just we've only known each other. Fine. Ow! 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 Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that hurt. I don't like that feeling. Do you like this? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're so cold. Well, I get no circulation in my hands. Hmm, that's nice. See? I help. You need me around to help. Mm-hmm. Help. Blaberta. Yes, Clay? You help help hold my head up so it doesn't fall and hurt like no one has in a long, long time. So, you know, I should keep you. Well, is that a proposal? It's definitely what I propose. Like a trash can fire in a prison cell Like the searchlights in the parking lots of hell I will walk you if you will come All the way down with me And do you, Blaberta Hymantact, take Clay Puppington as your lawful wedded husband? For stuff I haven't done yet Things will shortly get completely out of In the tips of my fingers In the skin on my face In the weak last gasp of the evening's dying light In the way those eyes I've always loved Like the searchlights In the parking lots of hell It looks like a pistol! It's not just a pistol, my young man. It's a lucky pistol, and your birthright. Why, old Gunny here used to be my father's. And then mine. For years, it's been a grand Puppington tradition that the head of the household would hand off old Gunny to his firstborn son. Now remember, not a word to your mother. You know she has a weak heart. Well, then maybe I should... Well, I, I'd like to, Dad, but you know the sixth of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill. Oh, what about the, uh, the lost 38th? No, wait! Thou shalt never hold a gun without anyone to shoot at. You know this Lost Commandment business was cute when you were six, but now it's just childish. No! Mom says they're real! When Moses smashed those tablets, the original count yeah, was... Yeah, keep saying it. Maybe was, someday you'll believe it. Sixty-three Ten Commandments! Hold it like a man. I'm a man. Mommy! Oh, my precious only ever! I missed you! I missed you too, Mom. Never take the Lord's name in vain, especially at the dinner table! And made me hold a gun. Ah! Oh, sit down, sweetness. Sit down, my baby. Do you know how old your baby is? Of course. He's 147 months. He's 12 years old. And mm. three months? I count each second with every beat of my heart. I'm done. Let's look at pictures of me again, Mommy. What an amazing idea again. Ah, uh, look at me. Oh, my precious only ever. I was so cute. Was that three weeks ago already? My, how time flies. Can we start from the beginning, um, Mommy? Oh, yes, of course. Anything for my precious only? No, all the way. Well, there's nothing really that far back. What do you mean? Uh, well, you see these pages here, they have... Pictures from before you were born. Oh, then forget it. Oh. Just you and Dad, you mean? And yes, and others. What? Others? Like who? Oh, uh, just others, sweetie. You never met them. Why not? <laughs> Are they dead? <gasps> we don't talk like that, dear. What did I say? You said the D. Dead? Uh, we call it passing, and we try to forget that it's there. Like the word... And everything it represents passes out of our memory. Mm, nice. I want to see who passed. Oh, Please, oh Mommy. So that, that is me, yes, but I'm not pregnant with you. Oh, you're just fat. Uh, uh no. That's your oldest brother, Clark. <laughs> mommy, I don't have a brother. I'm your precious only ever. Well, Clark. Never made it into our world alive. Oh. 
Um, or Clark. That's your sister, Clarissa. My sister? Well, your oldest sister. How many sisters were there? Uh, Cheapers. So counting Clark and Clarissa, that makes six. Oh, well, there's also Clancy, Clarence, Clinton, and Klondike with a C, your brother. I have ten siblings? Had. Almost. And they all passed inside you? Yes. But not with you. You were my miracle. Only God could explain why you stayed here with me and your brothers and sisters didn't. It must have been all that praying I did during the pregnancy with you. Do you know I didn't even smoke? Imagine being that preoccupied that you forget to light up a cigarette every once in a while. My stomach was tied in such knots, and I was so steeped in all my prayers that I couldn't even force down a highball. I mean, if it wasn't for food, I would have wasted away to nothing. And of course, with everything that was going on through my mind, I never had time to horseback ride or go on a roller coaster. And that trampoline out back, it practically went to waste. With all that lack of exercise, it's a wonder you were ever born at all. <laughs> Mom, do you mean to tell me that you are telling me that I'm not your precious only ever? You lied to me. No. You lied to me, Mommy. I am not going to be your precious only living ever anymore. No, Claire. Oh, God. Clay! 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 Gary! My precious! Oh. There are no mistakes, only evil and yes. miracles! Hello. And this was not this a miracle! This is Arthur Puppington! Oh, my boy take just me, shot Lord. himself with my gun! Lord, take I didn't know! Please, I didn't Lord, know. take me! Take, let it pass Angela. my son unto me! Open your eyes! Take me! I want this prank and dead! I said it! Open your eyes, Clay! What? I didn't do anything. Look at him, he's fine. Clay, my precious only living ever. Mommy. Oh, it's the milk oh. has passed it to no. me. No, hooray. I'm coming, Lord. No, no. What? Angela, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Puppington. It's cardiac arrest. She was in heaven before we got here. No, there is no heaven. <laughs> I don't need any more of your leftovers. You'll go to hell for saying there's no heaven. Not worth it? Now am I worth it? It all went wrong. Amen. You really should say amen at your own wife's funeral. Joseph's brothers sold him down the river for a song. And Sonny Liston rubbed some tiger balm into his glove. Some things you do for money. And some you do for love, love. My mom wouldn't want you to cover her cross with your flowers. Lord, please forgive my father, who is ungrateful for the food you put on his table. Some moments last forever, but some flip. I want to see you in my study, now. Clay, for years it's been a grand Puppington tradition that the head of the household pass off old Gunny to his firstborn son. But I'm not passing it on to you now because of that tradition. There will be no coming of age hunting trip with blood. Sure it's not just ketchup? It's gun. You know it's a sin to bear false witness. Uh, oh, oh, and remember the, the lost and last 63rd commandment, thou shalt never forget thy loaded a gun when thou hast an innocent child in the house. Don't worry, old gunny. I'll keep the tradition going. Some things you'll do for money, and some you'll do for fun. But the things you do for love are gonna come back to you one. Uh, here, why don't you try this one instead? Oh. Love, love is gonna lead you by the hand. Into a white and soundless place. Now we 
we see things as in a mirror dimly then we shall see each other face to face they don't believe in god the right way we simply can't mix with their kind it's dangerous life is precious reverend you're But why did you marry Dad? Huh? Oh, well, <laughs> why not? Well, it's just that w when he drinks, he takes. Come on! Hi, Clay. What is it, a holiday dolly? For you. Oh, right. This is the last few days. Yeah. Took the kid on a hunting trip. Oral? He didn't kill anything, did he? Look, everything went like clockwork. We were father and son, got some fresh air, things died, came home, get off my back. Forgetties. Clay, it's the office. Tell them it's Easter, and I'm not here. Oh, and tell them they need to order more paperweight. Don't look at me like that. I'm very responsible. Usually. Dolly, if I go to work today, I'm going to kill somebody. Oh, it won't be enough. They never get enough. Always so much more paper than there are weights. You know how much paperwork I have? It never stops. I don't know how it happens. You start out in life as a little baby. Exactly, no paperwork. But do we appreciate it, all us little babies? No. We cry, 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 Sacrifice, exactly. I sacrificed. The ultimate sacrifice. My happiness for my kids. You bet I did. You bet I did. I do it over and over again. <laughs> That's my life over and 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 you don't and over 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 the door oh Howdy, Reverend. Yeah, back at you. The Reverend Putty. I do believe that was the ex-Mrs. Papermouth, hmm? Hmm, 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, I certainly didn't expect to be kept company by two handsome gentlemen today. Yeah, keep it in your pants. I'm through with women. Amen! <laughs> You're through with women, Reverend? Yeah, well, even though I'm a Protestant man of the cloth, I still figure I should make some sort of... Sacrifice? Oh, get in line, buddy. Well, the Reverend sacrificing is very fitting on a day like today. Oh, really? Why especially today, Albert Vagina Stein? Easter. The Reverend sacrificing like our Lord has sacrificed, right, Reverend? Yes. Don't get me wrong. Jesus was nice. But the guy had everything. He knew he was the son of God. You can't get more privileged than that. Look, you try getting crucified. Maybe I will. If I have the time. I'm a little busy doing some real sacrificing, thank you very much. Oh, crucifixion isn't enough of a sacrifice for you? Look, once you get crucified, you can do no wrong. Everybody loves you. Well, some of us don't have that luxury. There's a little thing called supporting a family. Family that Jesus never got around to. I never drink beer. Hey, Close the door. Hey, Roger. Ooh, hello. Uh oh, hold on to your yawns, everyone. It's Officer Excitement. Reverend, I finally got to get the day off and hear your sermon this morning. Really inspirational. Yeah, you know, Easter. It's not exactly a brain teaser. Well, it really helped me in my time of need. Just when I was at the end of my Glad road. I could help. When all seemed black. You're welcome. Life just didn't seem worth living, and then. Look, you, you want an autograph? No, I just. I think Roger wants to tell us something. Okay, I should Whoa. get going. You're not going anywhere, Auntie Pan. Please stay, Reverend. I want you to hear this. Why? I, I got nothing to do with I that. I second that. Wise and blessed. Ba -pow. Stop that. Look, whatever's nagging you, it's bound to pass. Oh, she's sleeping with someone. I know it. It's over. Oh, my Florence. <laughs> <laughs> you pathetic bastard. Look at you. Hey, give me that! <laughs> you can't even score a little tail, and already that fat pig Florence has got some loser grunting and snorting up and down her fleshy... Hey! That's the officer's ex-wife you're talking about. 
golly. Imagine the loser Florence is getting sloppy with. You better stop that. Yeah, that's no way to talk about a guy you don't even know. Well, uh, I don't care about the guy. No, uh, I mean, it's insulting to you. And Florence. Yes, and you. You're a handsome man. I'm sure the fellow who sleeps with Florence is at least as handsome, if not more. Yeah. Well, I think Jesus would say you're both nuts. This guy is probably some hard luck sap that feeds off female desperation as much as. Hey, don't fellas, 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 fellas! Bad things about Florence and her lover. Hey, hey get off! Hey, Close, Close the door. door. The usual, Dolly. Long Island iced tea, coming right up. Well, 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 Dr. Quentin Xavier Potter's wheel. Hey, Doc, we were just talking about X Y. Oh, right, right. Must be nice to lose a wife to sickness and death instead of her just plain old getting sick of e. She just loved those painkillers. Probably didn't even realize she was infected, right, Doc? Numb, some call it. Now, me and Jesus, we like to feel the pain. Tell me, Doc, did some of those painkillers protect her against you? Well, what does that mean? You know. The pain of you, day in, day out, being there with that face, not knowing what to say, not caring anymore, not even knowing that you'll probably only care about her when it's finally too late, forgetting about all those desperate, those desperate years you spent alone, your barren years when no woman would even consider resting her tired head on your shaky little shoulder, and stinking of belly semen. Why even wipe? And then when you finally get one of these coveted pieces of tail that have been built up as the grand trophy in your nothing life, you try desperately to keep it. Not to protect it, but to hoard it. To keep it away from the other wolves and jackals circling your territory. And you realize all too soon that you're not good enough that maybe there was a jerk-off called Darwin after all, and that you never acknowledged his existence because you knew deep inside that you were really what you feared you were, weak and passive and ultimately broken by the ones who were made the fittest. And that through your weaknesses, you built up a poison that poisoned others around you. <laughs> that you loved. And the only true justice was to let those dominant jackals feed on you, survive off you. If that one gets too sweaty, I got an extra one for you. Uh. Ah, come on, Doc. It's a nice one. So, well, maybe you would like to put those slutty little breasts right in my kisser. Ooh, the long arm of the law. <laughs> no, Roger. <laughs> yeah, Roger, listen to the wife murderer. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, you better go too, Revs. Let the men handle this. How would your teeth like a five-finger discount on a knuckle sandwich, Puppington? Uh, uh, well, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Looks like the only fists that are raised in this town are pacifists. Look at you. Ha 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 ha. Ah, where are you all going? Get back here. You come back here! Show me that you have one ounce of testosterone between the three of you! With all you people as role models, no wonder my son is... sensitive. Say it wouldn't work, it wouldn't take, it wouldn't urge to only have tried it. <sighs> Stinking dead end job. Dinner will be a tad late tonight, dear. How to right. save it? Just Oral? You doing here? Uh, don't remind me. Stinking dead end job. Whoa, now, my young man. That's serious business. It may make me unpopular with some very important people. Like who? Like Miss Sensordal, for one. She loves eggs. Oh, yeah, I know, but she still agrees with me. She does. 
Uh, sir, you I'll there. admit she wasn't too crazy about Censored the idea here. at first, but once I explained warning. Her that mm-hmm. to ratify the slightest embargo on ovular delicacy. We all know that doing eggs. Your days in ovular be extremely numbered. <laughs> I'm not so sure your Miss Censored all really wants eggs illegal. But she said she did. Well, you see, Oral, people don't always say what's on their mind. They don't? That's silly. Oh, don't ever call it silly, son. Not saying what's on our mind is what this country's base oral think about it think about where they come hmm. from i mean they practically squirt hmm. right out of that really Can you imagine huh? that? Okay, all right, you win. I'm disgusting. I mean, it's disgusting. Eggs are disgusting and illegal, okay? You might shoot it off by mistake. There aren't any mistakes. But... Don't fuck me. <sighs> stinking dead-end job. Shouldn't you be campaigning to keep your stinking dead-end job? Me? Campaign? What other person in his right mind would want to anchor himself to a situation like mine? It's ready! Thanks, Mom! What's going on around here? Oral is Miss Sensordahl's campaign manager. <coughs> Yikes. Would you like a mint? Here you go, sir. Oral! I know, meet you in your study. Here you go. Would you like a mint? Here you go. How, um, uh, how are things? Oh, ho, Mr. Busy. You had six months to talk. The last six months were not filled with you helping a madwoman campaign against me and my job. You don't even like your job. Like? Like? No one likes their job. Have you ever listened to anything I've ever said in here? Does this chair absorb my voice? Do all these dead animal heads eat my words before they get to your delicate little ear? You know that thing you do with your hands and mouth and throat and stomach? That thing called eating? Well, say goodbye to that thing forever if I lose my position in this town because of you. I will. Okay. You can go. Mayor Clayton, middle initial Puppington. Reverend Moderator, citizens of Moralton. Friends, I have been criticized quite intensely for the outlawing of our little gooey breakfast buddies. I have been called a callous hunt. Does hunting and death really pose such a horrible threat to this town? Death, dear friends, is the best thing ever. Death is the beginning of our everlasting life. The only eggs I smash are the eggs of filth. The inhuman eggs that squeeze with vile evil through the tantalizingly moist passage protruding from our mother bit by bit, with wrongful, erotic, soiled, evil, maternal... Mom... Uh, sorry. That's it. Vote Puppington! What?! Miss... Oral, I've been a bad dad, I admit it, okay? I'm sorry about shooting you, I'm sorry about the ignoring, blah, 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 all of that. Now that we've made up, you gotta tell me what that witch is up to. You gotta, Oral, please! People just don't say what's on their mind, Dad. Don't give me that! That's my line! Well, guess it's true. Well, of course it's true! The mind is a scary, scary, scary thing! Why? Because somewhere, way down deep inside, in its twisted catacombs and dank, dark hallways, there's an even scarier, more horribly monstrous entity. Truth. Tell me the truth, Oral. Uh, I don't know, Dad. Uh Uh-huh. Don't know? Okay. Well, I take everything back! And I'm glad I shot you. I got some business to attend to. Why? Why did you withdraw from the election? Hmm. Sit down. What do you have up your sleeve? You have special powers, don't you? You made me shoot Oral. I know it. I had a dream. You flatter me, young Puppington. Young? I'm your age. In years, maybe. But I'm older where it really counts. (gasps) Looks. Hmm. And confidence. 
You're right. I can't do anything. Wrong. You can do anything. Everything, as long as Mommy says you can. Mommy? Yes. Mommy. Mommy. <gasps> what do I do? I'm at the end of my rope. My kid, my wife, two illegitimate kids. Oh, I wish there was something somewhere that I could pump full of my anger. Something that wouldn't produce another life. There is. <gasps> that... My dear Mayor, is the only egg you'll ever find down there. Mm. 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 Yes, your mommy's little hatchling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm the precious egg mm -hmm. ever. Anything you want, Mom. Mm. I can't believe you kept this from me. It's true. Shot him with my own two hands. Mm. Mm. Would have been my own one hand if Oral hadn't gotten in the way. That kid loves animals like he's St. Francis of wherever. Can't even look at him anymore. Tell me more about the bear. You should come by and check it out. I got it stuffed in my study. Ooh, my kind of study. Mm. Okay, this is it. What? I got some business to attend to. I'll wait for you, buddy. Your mommy's little hatchet. Even a chorus line. Oh, the snow. It sparkles. I think I've got a problem. Oh. Dad? Uh, uh, and another thing, Growly. Always honor thy father. That commandment wasn't even lost, so there's no excuse not to remember it. Please, Coach Stop Frame, I hate hurt ball. Can we play a game that doesn't hurt? Like hug ball? Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Danielle Stop Frame. Jingle Danielle, Jingle Danielle Stop what Frame. What do you want? Hey, buddy, how about a quick eggnog nightcap? Say five minutes? Uh, doesn't it have to be night for a nightcap? Sure, but it's always night in some backwards culture. How's your little librarian? Huh? Oh, that. <laughs> that was just some under-the-table insurance so she'll never bother me again. Okay, bye-bye. Maybe I'll just have to bring my big stuffed bear over to your place later tonight. That's a good I don't idea. think I'll bring that's it by. such Bye. a good idea. <laughs> so we could go a wassailing. So you feel in your thumbs a black and a car. The man you know, you spot. It's not you. Everyone get dressed. We're going Christmas caroling. What do you mean? Now? As a family? Cheerfully? Yes! This I've got to see. La 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 la. Why here, of all places? And shouldn't Oral be with us instead of that bear? Look, can it? Now let's do something upbeat. If the Lord were alive today, what would you give him this Christmas? De what are you doing here with my son? Stop! The thought of the two of you together makes my skin crawl. Please, all we were doing was having a nice time for the first Christmas in I don't know how long. I felt relaxed and, and full of joy. This is rape! You raped my son! Niceness! In order to get to me! Dad. Well, it worked! You got to me! Now you stay away from him! He's not yours, I am! I mean, he's mine! My son! Oh, I miss you, Oral. I need you in my life, Oral. And I... I love you. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Oral? Come on, Dad. It's late. No! Yeah. Right. I had fun. Bunch of people who are forced to be together just because they came out of each other. <laughs>